we are all loved by God. The people inside these walls, the people outside these walls, we are all loved by God. And the invitation that God gives to, is to everyone. Jesus tells them this metaphor about God's invitation in their lives. God's invitation, describing the place that people put God in their lives. Happening then, happening now. Where we place priority on all these other things that aren't really as important. And we put God somewhere down below those things. Below those things and anything we place before God becomes an idol in our lives. Our actions and our responses and our attitudes make, make a difference. The invitation is given by God. And when the invitation is rejected, when the response is rejection, then none of those who are invited and reject the invitation will eat bread in the kingdom of God. And that's troubling. And that's hard for us to hear. And as Methodists, I mean, we might ask ourselves, where's the grace in this story? I mean, our emphasis in the United Methodist Church is on grace. If you don't hear anything else I, hear, I say this morning, hear this. The grace is in the invitation. And here is how I know that the grace is in the invitation. Because the invitation is to all. The invitation is to everyone. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you've done. But to all is also given the gift of free will. And I really do believe that free will means way too much to God for God to ever mess with it. So we have a, a choice to make. Where do we place God and his invitation in our lives? As strongly as I believe God free, feels about free will, I believe that God feels even more strongly about the idols that we place in our lives. The scriptures say, you shall have no other gods before me. It's one of the Ten Commandments. You shall have no gods before God. Uh, we're not righteous on our own. We're righteous only because of the righteousness of Jesus Christ. We're not holy on our own. We're only holy because of the holiness of God. And we eat bread in the kingdom of God because of a gracious invitation presented to us by God that we choose to accept and live into and live out in our lives.